Hello, this video I'm going to show you this spreadsheet that I created for for standings. You can use it for NASCAR 2003, you can use it for you know anything you want. I'm going to show you how it's used and then you can I'll put it I'll put a copy in the description, a blank, a blank copy. And you can use it. So I've got the position number here, the car number here, the drivers, the name of the driver here, how many points they have, and this is how far back behind they are. We're not going to pay attention to this. I'm not going to include this row in the spreadsheet, just so ignore that. The playoff points, which you know you can use if you want, number of starts, number of wins, top fives, top tens, and the change is how many spots they moved up or down since the previous race. And over here we have the results, regular season, and then we've got playoff races over here with the track name right here, and then what place each driver got in each race. And so for example, this number 22 means that this Shank driver finished 22nd at Daytona. Here's another example, 15, I just randomly clicked this one. Donato got 15th place at Daytona, pick Daytona again, and so on. And so if you notice here, the yellow number one and then it'll be gray for positions 2 and 5, 6 to 10th will be orange, 11th to 20th will be green, 21st to 30th will be blue, and then anything 31st or worse will be purple. And these colors change automatically. So first, so we just had a race at Bristol. Um, we just did that race and I have the results right here. I'm going to go ahead and add them. And you're going to see, so I'm going to add Lacko, his win. First of all, he gets the playoff points for my own series rules. I'm going to give him the win. Watch what happens when I put the one in. See right now he has three wins, nine top fives. Wait a minute, oh, nine, three wins, ten top fives, and 17 top tens. When I add this one, see that changes automatically, and the starts go up to 24. And this automatically changes color. So you don't have to worry about touching any of this stuff, as you can see in the formula here it counts how many numbers there are here this one counts how many number ones there are this counts how many five or less and this one counts how many ten or less so you're going to go ahead and, keep, and do the rest of the results we've got Shank and Franklin let's just let me just give me a minute or two to do that Kaczynski site guest Kootenai Kaczynski site guest is right here and Kootenai there he is all right we have Adams Clayton and Donato so that's going to be Adams Clayton a little further down here. And then Donato got nice. Adam Nelly, Matthew Benjamin. Adam Nelly, Matthew Benjamin. We've got Miller, Smith, and Simpson. Miller would be this one. Smith is up here. And Simpson is down here. McGucky and Costanza and Santa Nastazzo. This is 16. Uh, what did I say? I forget already. Costanza. That would be this one. And Santa Nastazzo, 18. Then we've got John Flinsome and Flynn. John's pretty far down here. 19. 20 is Flinsome and Flynn. Then we've got Cooper, Simon, Ridenauer. <clears throat> Cooper, Simon, and this one. Uh, Sharp, Bray, Gally. Sharp is the. Oh, where's he? Oh, here's right here. Sharp, Bray is a little further up. 26, and then the Gally, 27. Okay, you can go down Weidenhoft, Hudson, Yates. Weidenhoft would be this one. Hudson and Yates is a little bit further up. More Lothair and Hammock. <clears throat> 31, 32, and 33. Right there. Rigsby, Arroyo, and Krebs. Rigsby is this one. And these other guys are further down 35 and Krebs is 36 
And then we've got Gru, Helmand Tolerant, Samyon. Those two did not have good races, Helmand Tolerant and Samyon. In fact, the points leader got 30 ace, and I don't think he's going to get points leader anymore. So now we have all these points, we have all these standings. Now we add it to here. So how, what do we do? Well, I have it one position for each, or one point for each position, you know. But I'm not going to <clears throat> do it myself. I have a little points added to you. So yeah, in a second. First, we have this, which is hidden previous position, which means what place they were in the previous race. And the reason for this row is for this, the math does this one minus this one, three minus two to come up with positive one. On the other hand, two minus three equals a negative one because they were second and now they're third. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and update this so that it's all zero. We're going to hide it. And then first we have to unmerge this one because I can't sort this one <clears throat> if it's merged. I'm going to do A to Z. And then we're going to copy all the points down to 39, which ends here. We're going to do a copy. I'm going to go to this points adder. <clears throat> and what this does is you paste the points here. It adds the number here and then comes up with the result here. So since there are 39 cards, we're going to paste on the 39th one, not the 40th one. It does the math and we're going to copy all these numbers. Let's do a copy. And then we're going to do a paste format only, and no, paste, paste values only. Did I do that right? I think I did that right. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. We're going to do that, and then we are going to... Oh wait, first of all, we're going to... the. I have a couple incapable drivers with the I, so they're going to go back to zero. And then I'm going to sort points Z to A. And then we're going to change the positions. And then give it a minute. There's a little loading bar right here, and these numbers will change automatically. We can put this back. Merge it back again. And here you have these numbers. See, this one went up to one. He's now the points leader. This guy went up two spots. The points leader lost three spots for finishing 38th in that race. And then a couple other changes here and here. So again, this bubble row is my own thing. That's, you don't have to worry about it. But I have to adjust it because it's for my own series. You're not going to use it. If you want to add it for yourself, you can. You can see the formulas up here on how I did that. And yeah, if you have any questions, you can feel free to ask. By the way, these colors, I did these colors myself with yellow, meaning they won a race. Green meaning they're in the playoffs right now on points because it's getting close. There's two races left. <clears throat> but you don't have to do those colors if you don't want to. So that's it. And thanks for watching. If you want to watch some of my fantasy series races with these drivers, I've got a bunch of videos of them. And I'll upload more videos with the fantasy drivers. And <clears throat> see you next time whenever I do a video.